All right, y'all. Here we go again. It seems like everybody is mad. And when I say everybody, I'm talking about like CNN, MSNBC. It's like they just having a meltdown because of what uh, the Colorado Supreme Court did. They all mad at SCOTUS for some reason that they, I, I, I mean, I've never seen this in my life, how these people hate Donald Trump so much. They don't want to see this man win anything. And it's just crazy. If you think that they mad now that the Supreme Court overruled it, imagine what they're going to be saying and how they're going to be feeling when Donald Trump get reelected this November. Because I believe he's going to get reelected. I don't care about all these, these charges, this fake stuff that they're trying to put on this man. they only doing it because they cannot beat him fair and square. And now we got Jessica Tarloff. We already knew she was going to eventually say something. I really feel like, y'all let me know in the comment section, do y'all feel the same way I feel? Jessica Tarloff should be on The View with Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and Sonny Hosting them. That's where she need to be because all her talking points is straight Democrats. She don't like Donald Trump. And I can't see the reason why she even still on Fox. You know, but hey, let's go ahead and dive straight into it because they said that a, a Trump attorney goes off on Jessica Tarloff because she was talking crap about Donald Trump again. So like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. And please hit that like button so more people can see how Alina Hobble going to go off on Jessica Tarlock because she is jealous and she's mad. Let's go. It's a tale of two worlds. That is, the Democrats are trying to describe reality in one way, and it's a lie. And the Republicans slash conservatives are trying to describe it in another way, and it's the truth. Let's get to this. A disagreement between Alina Haba and Jessica Tarloff. Mm. They're not even on the same show, but they're talking two different languages. First, we're going to start with Alina Haba. They're weighing in on the Supreme Court case, but really it has to do with all politics everywhere. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are because we live in reality. We That's agree right. with the, the nine to zero Supreme Court. All and I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go over and subscribe to Doug. Let Doug know that I sent you. The video will be in the description. All right. All nine justices agree with us and the lunatics on the other side. Well, they want Biden to be president again. They Imagine do. crying because the Constitution is standing strong and we're not going to turn into Cuba. That's Trump derangement syndrome 101 right there. The Democrats want to turn us into Cuba. That is, they want to remove his name from the ballot. They're all OK with it. Remember mm -hmm. that. We're going to keep going with this show. The Democrats did not oppose this decision until the Supreme Court came out against it. The rest of us who are constitutionalists we're against it. That is, we wanted Trump's name on the ballot in Colorado right. before the decision came out. We're so upset because the Constitution was upheld today, because the Supreme Court showed us that we are not Cuba. We are not a third world country. We are not a banana republic. And that the things I've seen over the past four months in New York are not going to become America. Oh, yes. The things that she saw in New York with Letitia James mm -hmm. and Eugene Carroll, um, New York is like Cuba. It does not have justice with its justices. The things that she saw there, it is not going to happen in the rest of America. Thanks. But it, it, it's already happened in New York. Well, I think that the Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold, from Colorado was actually way further out, what do you say, over your skis? Um, than out the over her skis. Out yes. over her skis <laughs> than the average Democrat who, even if they thought that there was merit to the decision from the Colorado Supreme Court, still would have rathered he be on the ballot because of what that portends for the future. The only problem Jessica Tarlov is no Democrats came out and said it. Right. They may have wanted Trump on the ballot and they may have disagreed with Colorado taking his name off the ballot, but none of them verbalized it. In fact, they've been online right now verbalizing the opposite about how Trump can get taken off the ballot. Jamie Raskin, major Democrats are for punishing political opponents. Yep. And what does MSNBC, The View, and CNN do? There they go. They have tantrums. Yep. It's literally epic to watch. Uh, that's why we cover The View, guys. <laughs> yes. MSNBC and The View, those are our favorite shows to make. I know many of you hate them. That is not why I make them. So you have something to hate. I make them because they represent the left side of America. And they must be mocked and destroyed. Because right. They think they're being uh, 
good little freedom fighters in removing Trump's name from the ballot. That there would definitely have been, I don't want to say another January 6th, but a lot of people who would another claim, well, we didn't even get what? a chance to exercise our constitutional rights. So they could, two things could be true. We think this is the appropriate decision, but we would rather his name be there. And you heard that a lot, especially when the main decision was coming down, because that was unilateral. No, but Jessica Tarloff, they did not say they preferred Trump's name on the ballot. Democrats across the board, we did not hear it. It's nowhere. They it's not in the lying. country. It's not in our press. It's not in our media. They did not all say, oh, that Colorado taking his name off the ballot. You know, we really have to have Trump's name on the ballot. Name the Democrat that said it. I mean, Biden wouldn't even say it. None of them said it. Because, you know, deep down inside, they wanted to win by removing Trump's name right. from the ballot. But we did say this is a clean cut Supreme Court decision. It's constitutional. They were trying to do something that would have been hurtful to Democrats and Republicans. And that's what people need to remember. It's about America first. It's not about Trump. It's about us. That's my warning to Democrats. This would have hurt you also. Yeah. In the long run. Some people think like, oh, as long as the p power, the evil power agrees with me, and they protect me, I will right. go along with the evil power. I, I'll, I'll agree with them. By the way, this is to my black community. You've heard this for years from Democrats. Like, just join us and, and let us do a few illegal things and we'll protect you. And so they knew to vote as a block. Look, all we know is we have to vote for a block for these Democrats. They're going to give us free goodies, free benefits. They're going to attack all the right people and defend all of us even though it breaks every principle in the Constitution Facts. and what Martin Luther King Jr. said. And then suddenly come the Hispanics coming over the southern border, and they're like to the uh, black supporters, you're going under, forgotten, gone. You're getting replaced. We have a new favorite group. Another favorite group is the trans community. They're going, hey, y'all, see you later. We got trans people now. Goodbye, black community. Thanks for getting us here. We were always just kidding. Same thing with the Jews. The Jews vote for Democrats as a block. And how are the Jews feeling now with See? Hamas? Now, you tell me how We you all feel. know how the Democrats, they're just straight liars. I, I've never seen anything like this before. Like, if you're going to beat Donald Trump, beat the man fair and square. Why do it take cheating? Why do it take trying to take him off balance? You know why y'all have to do that? Because you can't beat him fair and square. They know Joe Biden can't stand a chance with Donald Trump. So what do they do? Oh, let's just take him out. He ain't been convicted of no, no insurrection. I ain't been convicted of nothing. But they're still trying to run with the narrative as if Donald Trump was convicted. That's how they're trying to cheat it, uh, treat it as if he have been convicted. So they're trying to take him off balance, and I'm glad SCOTUS did the right thing. And now Jessica Tarlov, The View, MSNBC, CNN are all pissed. And you know what? The good thing about it is that I'm happy that they are pissed. And the other good thing about it is that Trump gave a excellent speech afterwards. An excellent speech. Now, you got all of them just crying now. They all big old crybabies because they want something to happen to Donald Trump so bad. And I said this. I said as soon as if, if Scotus they was to turn it over, overrule it, and to Trump's favor, the view was going to get mad and start trying to call out uh, the Supreme Court. And that's exactly what they did. That's exactly what MSNBC did. All of them mad. Listen to Jessica Tala. Oh, it might have been another J6 situation. I mean, just be throwing anything out there. It is just crazy how these people just be thinking. Beat Donald Trump fair and square. Show Donald Trump that you can beat him without trying to get him took off balance. See, uh, show him that you can beat him without trying to put the man in jail to make it an easy way for, uh, for Joe Biden. Do it fair and square. You can't do it. That's why they trying to, that's why you got Jack Smith and all these corrupt people just trying to take them out. And we just tired of it. Because you supported the Democrats. Now the Democrats are going, we demand a ceasefire. We demand a change. We demand yeah. all this stuff. And it's because you sacrificed your principles to vote for the Democrats as a block. You turned your brain off and you turned your values off. And that is done. I'm not yep. saying you have to vote for a Republican. You should. 
because we care more about you and your principles than the Democrats do. Yep. But I wanted to just add a couple of things um, to the judge's analysis. So the insurrection clause doesn't say who decides the insur- who's an insurrectionist. And the Supreme Court was unified in the 9-0 that he should stay on the Colorado ballot. But they're actually within that decision. No, it's not true that the four, the dissent, that is the, the females who said, ah, he didn't, they didn't exactly decide on insurrection, uh, but they still, it's still a 9-0 vote. They still agreed to leave Trump's name on color. Right. Basically, it, they said if they if there was an insurrection, that it didn't apply to Trump. That's what's going to happen. And now you're going to have the loony uh, liberals like Jamie Raskin still try to get Congress together to take Trump's name off the ballot. But at least Congress is where it should happen. Congress is where this belongs. Not the Colorado Supreme Court that's removing his name from the ballot. The Congress is supposed to tell you if Trump is to be charged with an insurrection, Trump has never been charged with insurrection, by the way. Right. Uh, he, that, that's what I'm going to go ahead and say, Doug. He hasn't been charged or convicted. So with them just trying to say, see, the thing is, they trying to run with it as if he is charged. Because all of these people don't like Donald Trump, so they want him to be charged with it. It's the reason why a lot of them, you see like what they try to do in Maine, taking them off the ballot. They want him to be charged of that. The man ain't even been convicted or charged with anything, and they was still just trying to take his name off the ballots. And it's just crazy. Now look what happened. That's another thing. Never been charged. I heard Raskin, the congressman, Democrat, today say he's got some rascally plan to go back to Congress and determine that Trump's an insurrectionist. So even if he does win in November, Donald Trump, Congress could bar him from taking office. What's going on here? Okay, so at least that happens in the Congress. That's at least Jamie Raskin and the Democrats going, hey, we're going to bar him from the ballot, you know, from Congress because he's we're going to charge him with insurrection. That's the one thing they won't do. That's also the one thing that uh, Jack Smith wouldn't do. He'd have a chance in all of these cases with Chutkin, with all this going into the Supreme Court, if he just charged Trump with insurrection. He won't do it. He knows he won't win. He knows Trump didn't uh, perform an insurrection the way that they were warning about at the Civil War when the Southern states tried to leave the... Uh, the United States. That's an insurrection. There were the five conservatives who said that Congress is who decides. And Jamie Raskin has already talked about the fact that they're reviving a bill mm-hmm. to have him barred because of it being an insurrectionist. Which is but a then, huge waste of time. Yes. Potentially. I'm just saying that that's... Mm-hmm. Huge waste of time. Yeah. And Trump will only win more, Jessica Tarlov. It's not going to work. Hey, yeah, wh- exactly. It's just going to be a waste of time. You heard them say it. He hasn't been charged. So how are you still going to try to go to Congress and try to still put charges on somebody that hasn't been convicted of anything? He hasn't been convicted of that. So with them still just see, I told you when Donald Trump win, they try to find another loophole like they are trying their best. These people are terrified. They do not want Donald Trump in office. But the news flash is. He's going to be in office. He's going to be in office, whether you like it or not. It don't matter what you keep trying to do, but it's just crazy how they just, they just going after Donald Trump for every little thing. He win this. Okay. He won over here. Let's go take it to them and see what they have to say about it. It's like, they just keep trying to find different reasons to mess with this man. Why don't we also spy on his election for 2024 and then act like it didn't happen? I mean, it's what they're always doing. They double down, they triple down, and they become desperate. I'm not sure where their PR people are, but they should take a look at the polls. What they're doing is not working. And what President Trump said today was so articulate and so on point. He was calm, he was measured, and he said it very clearly. President Biden, do your job. Stop attacking me. Fight fair and square. That's the one thing the Democrats do not want, is they do not want a fair fight. Nope. They don't want an election to decide who's going to win. That's the And that's why they have to tell you that Republicans are trying to stop an election. That was never true. They're trying to tell you that Trump was an insurrectionist. That was also never true. Mm-hmm. Never happened. And all the J6 protesters, none of them were insurrectionists. 
You've got to take your henchmen off of me, your witch hunts, your election interference cases. And if you can walk, walk your way to the ballot in 2024 and vote. But he is not able to do so. And that's the truth. So the desperation, as we're seeing with what they said today, going to Congress, it just, you know, they double down, they triple down. Tomorrow we'll hear more of it. Mm -hmm. That's Elena Hava, Trump's lawyer. I couldn't have said it better, guys. If you agree, then subscribe. Thank you. Shout out to Doug. Like I said, make sure y'all go over and... Uh Subscribe to his channel. Go show Doug some love. Let him know that a dog sent you. Spam it in his comment section. Say, uh, Doug, a dog sent me over here. Make sure y'all do that for me. Doug's a great content creator. Love doing his videos. I've told y'all I'm gonna continue to support Doug. I'm gonna continue to review his videos because I love doing it. Like I said before, I mentioned this in a lot of my videos. I learned a lot uh, listening uh, to Doug and stuff like that, and I really appreciate it. Appreciate what he does, you know. So, like I said, the original video will be in the description. Go show him some love. Thank you all for watching, and I catch y'all in the next one.